Nobody makes any payment in NDDC without God's will at Babio's um, approval. When we first came to NDDC, on the day of going for the inauguration, he told me in the car that, Madam MD, if you don't do what I say, the same pen with which I used to sign your letter, it will be the same pen that I will use to remove you. He said the first thing I should do when I get to Port Harcourt is to change the dollars in the NDDC account. I was scared to do that. He claims that I have poverty mentality, that I am afraid of money. All of you knew they accused me that I refused to spend money. It is strange that today it's now about money. After that, he came to Port Harcourt. Two days after the inauguration, he said the first thing I should do is to make sure I change the dollars. I should remove Mr. Kaltungo from being legal and send him on compulsory retirement, that we cannot have a northerner be the head of the legal team, of the legal unit. He said I should remove all the other directors that refused to take his instruction during the time of Mrs. Um, Aguagaga. That was the predecessor before I came. So he came also with a draft, which I've submitted, with a draft um, letter that I should write and put it on my letterhead implicating Senator Mobushi for collecting contracts in NDDC. I told him that I will not, I'm a lawyer, and that whoever alleges must prove. The fact that Senator Wobushi is giving us trouble as IMC, you remember also that they did not recognize the IMC. I said I will not do that letter. He said I was ungrateful and I refused to do the letter. Dr. Cairo now said that he will do the letter. If Akpabio tells him to kill, he will kill before he asks, why did he kill? I said, for me, I will not do the letter. At that place, there was Mr. Etiebet, who was the only staff of the NDDC that was present at that meeting. When um, he finished, he now asked Dr. Cairo to go and send for the letter-headed paper um, from the office. They now sent for the letter-headed paper. Dr. Cairo now did the letter, which I've also submitted to the committee, alleging that Dr. Um, Senator Wabushi had contracts. Then he said, I must sign the cover letter. I said, if I sign any document from me seen by Mr. President, he will believe every line of it. So I will only write that the EDP, who should know about projects, have gone. The next thing that he told me, he said, I must make sure that all these people leave and that the procurement, because apparently, Akbabio, before I came, when himself and Festus Kayamu were ministers, their first meeting at the commission, he was awarded 30, 30, 30, contracts for distilting and water hyacinth. The, the, the Mr. Linus, who was the director of finance, refused to sign because it did not follow due process. He also said that I should implicate the chairman um, of um, the House Committee because the chairman of the House Committee had gone to Ondo State for a meeting to plan against him. I said, I don't even know that one. I've never even seen him. For Senator Mobushi, he was my classmate at law school, and we were called to bar the same day. However, I had not seen him since our call to bar, and didn't really remove, remember him, which was like over 30 years ago. He said, um, and guess what? Agbabio never signs any documents. He will always refuse to sign, but he will tell you to go and commit the fraud. For instance, he told me to go 
and raise a memo and give an emergency contract for flood victims. You people remember that we went round for flood. We went with channels AIT and NTA, as most of you have heard. That he gave, he wanted me to take an oath. He has denied that, but I want to say today, he told me up to three times until we had a reconciliation meeting at the villa in the house of Mr. Sadiki Abba, who is the SA to the president on domestics. In that meeting was Alaji Meikano. He said the only condition was if I take the oath. I refused to take the oath, and I did not take that oath. And I will never take the oath from him. So he said he was going to remove me. He started a campaign of calumny against me. He said, I'm not even, a, I did not answer him because the facts will speak for itself. Now, to end this matter about the procurement process. I refused to go with him to deceive Mr. President at the FEC meeting because the Procurement Act says if I contravene any section of the Procurement Act, it's five years imprisonment without an option of fine. So if I go and say they should pay for the process, if you see, they say it's for 2020 budget. Atabio went to get the approval from FEC. The 2020 budget has not even been discussed by the National Assembly till today, the, the 2020 budget has not been passed. However, he lied to FEC, which is the greatest embarrassment in this country, for a budget that has not been passed, for an approval to be given for that procurement. I refused to go because he wanted me to send the money for the procurement to the ministry to implement the forensic audit. I refused. I am challenging him to deny any of these allegations because I have to round up for you people. But all the facts and all that I've, I've, I've said are all, written, are all written in my document. I challenge him to say he did not give me any oath. I challenge him on the certificates of no objection that he has. I, and I'm proud and I want to encourage all Nigerians that we must save these countries, our own. He says I did not bring money I'm talking to ministers against his presidential ambition. He gave me list of people to employ. I said I will not employ them because our zone and the youth in our zone have not gotten jobs. Okay. I will not do it. So he should come. He's, he's lucky that God did not plan well, for me I to be there today.